Good morning, Granite Bay. Today is your October 30th Bulletin. I'm Sean Burgundy. And I'm Veronica Corningstone. And thanks for tuning in to another edition of Granite Bay Today and a happy Halloween. First up, girls basketball tryouts are on November 4th after school in room 813 for a mandatory concussion test. On November 6th, there is a mandatory parent meeting in the library from 6 to 7 p.m. Tryouts are on the 10th, 7 to 9 p.m. for freshman team, 3 to 5 for JV, and 5 to 7 for the varsity team. Let's now go to a story on Corbin Anderson and his commitment to the University of Washington. I started playing soccer when I was five years old. Right from the get-go, um, I really enjoyed doing it. Um, my dad was my coach when I was playing rec. It really just brings a lot of creativity to you. Um, you know, unlike other sports like football or basketball, um, there's no plays. I mean, just kind of, it's, it comes to you, and um, it's a lot of fun. My dad definitely has been the most influential um, person for me to play soccer. He's, he's really helped me a lot um, and pushed me to where I am right now. College, I definitely want to be playing a lot. Um, my goal is to start as a freshman. Seattle's just, it's a dope city. It's really cool, um, and it felt like home when I was there. So, Out of the other choices I had, um, they by far were the best, academically and athletically. I'm stoked. I'm so excited. Um, it's great competition. I'll be playing Cal and Stanford so people can come watch, and it'll be fun. I'm going to miss my friends. Um, I mean, that's super cliche, but it's, it's by far the biggest thing I'll miss. I mean, just coming to everyday things and hanging out with people at school, um, it'll be different for sure. Thanks, Natalie. There is a movie night in the quad from 7 to 10 p.m., and tickets will be sold on November 6th in the gym during both lunches. And I'm Brooke Rowe. And we are from the Community Outreach Club and here helping class at Grand Bay High School. We are putting on a movie in the quad awareness night and it's going to be on Thursday, November 13th from 6.30 to 9.30 p.m. Agape is an organization. They fight sex trafficking. They restore the victims who have been sexually trafficked and they also transform the communities. So all of our proceeds are going to be going to Agape International Missions. Students should go because there's going to be over 30 raffle prizes, which is really exciting. And there's going to be booths from multiple organizations such as Win for Courage and also Agape is going to be there. So it's going to be $3 for the movie ticket and free popcorn. And then an additional $3 if you want hot dogs, cotton candy, soda, or water. And then an additional $2 if you want an unlimited candy bar. Show up a little bit early. You can bring blankets and pillows and all kinds of stuff. And then make sure to get your spots. Are you interested in being one of Santa's helpers this year? Sign-ups are on October 30th and 31st in the first week of November and on both lunches. It will be taking place on Tuesday, December 2nd at Kingswood Elementary School. Now let's go to Haley and Jacob with sports. Happy Halloween and welcome back to another edition of In the Den. I'm Haley Miller bringing you the latest Grizzly Athletics. And I'm Jacob Elder giving you all the updates on sports. Let's begin. This week I got a chance to interview our selected player of the week, Kat Conan. Take a look. Okay, so I play because it just like makes me happy and I love like working hard and being able to see my hard work pay off. Um, 
words I want to like play in college. So it's gonna happen. I'm a utility player, so I play like every position. Like this year, both our goalies were out for a little bit because of concussions. So like I went in the goal for a couple games. Okay, we play Del Oro Thursday at three at the rack. Um, and playing for Granite Bay is definitely a lot of fun because we're one of the better teams in the area. And uh, we're like the top competition, so a lot of teams like want to play harder against us. So it's always like a challenging game. Uh, I saw, <coughs> I saw a coaching cat when she was 13. She had just moved to the area for the Bay, uh, Bay Area. I coached her at Sac Polo. Uh, she came to Granite Bay, I went to Dio, uh, I came to coach Kat her sophomore year here at Granite Bay and the time I've known her from the first time from her sophomore year on, she's definitely progressed. Uh, she's very dedicated um, and she's really uh, found a lot of different ways to create shots for herself which make her very effective in the pool. Congratulations to Kat. Remember that if you have a selection for next week's Player of the Week, tweet hashtag POTW to at Granite Bay today. Haley, what games do we have coming up? We actually have quite a few games coming up this week. Today, the girls' and boys' water polo teams both have tournaments, so make sure to wish all of the players good luck. And tomorrow, the SFL Cross Country Championships begin. Make sure to support our school's runners by going out to William Jessup University. Tomorrow night, the football team will be playing Rockland on our field at 7.30. And Monday, the girls' volleyball team will be playing Oak Ridge in the gym at 6. Also, make sure to represent your favorite teams and sports tomorrow by dressing up for Halloween. Well, that's all the sports we have for you this week. We'll see you back here in the den. Thanks, guys. Hey, Veronica, how did you like the fall play? Yeah, I loved it. It was definitely a night well spent. My friend Sean was laughing so hard that he cried. What? No, it wasn't. Anyway, let's go to Mary with the trailer on the completed works of Shakespeare Abridged. Revised. So, the play is super chill, and um, my favorite characters are Romeo and Juliet, and the play was amazing, Romeo and Juliet. Well, I think it's really funny, and it's a really great way to get people interested in Shakespeare, and I think we have some really great people in it. The actors are really good at accents. Play Omega's great. You should definitely come see it. It's really good. Uh, my favorite character is Nick, and my favorite part was Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> I'd say the guy that played Juliet was awesome. Uh, I like Nick, and my favorite part is when he's running around barfing on people. Do you like sushi? Well, if you are interested in getting free Makuni food for a whole year, you can go to the football game tomorrow. Let's go to Brian with more information. And the winning numbers are 7 6, 5 4, 2 2. 22, ladies, that's me! Get go, go, get go, go! All right, here are the rules. You have one kick from the 25 yard line. If you make that, you get a $100 gift card to Makuni. If you make that, you move on to the 45 yard line for a chance to win free Makuni for a year. Are you ready? I'm ready! All you need to do is to make it from the 45 yard line for free sushi for a year. Got this.
There is a Halloween costume contest tomorrow. Anyone can join, and if you have any questions, contact Ali Yap. Winner will win a, win a mystery gift card. Remember that you can kiss a goat to raise money for the SPCA Foundation. The actual kissing is on the 7th. Sign up at the stage on both lunches from, on November 3rd to the 6th. From all of us here, stay classy, Granite Bay. And thanks for stopping by. But mostly, stay classy.